Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. As you can tell by the thumbnail and, and the title, I have an almost new release. This is Peerless 14 by Beltras and mine is in the color English Toffee. I purchased my Peerless 14 on the clearance section, of course, at Wood Studio One. And I was excited to get it because I had the first Peerless that launched and it was just so much hair for me. I love the curtain bangs on it. I thought it was really pretty, but it was just way too much hair. I tried to wear it a second time and it just didn't work out. So I sold that one. Here's my new one, English Toffee. English Toffee in Beltress is 6F27. So we have a chocolate brown with auburn highlights the auburn highlights are actually light it says that it's highlight I, it looks very well blended to me i mean the highlights are very thin so it's not as you have bold highlights or anything like that it is a warm uh brunette for sure let me show you the cap if you are familiar with peerless it does have a center part, nice generous part, and a lace front. And it doesn't feel to have any permatease on top. We have felt covered ear tabs with the fibers coming from the ear tabs, a non extended nape. And I am going to cinch it in a little bit because Beltress, I have a 21 and a half inch circumference, and Beltress seems to run a little bit large on me. Lots of stretch on Peerless 14. Peerless 14 weighs 5.1 ounce. Doesn't seem to have real deep curls as my favorites in Beltress as far as the wavy styles are Delgona 16 and Columbia. And those curls seem to be a little bit more defined on Peerless 14. They're deconstructed. They're, it's just a wave, kind of as if when you have wavy hair and you just let your hair air dry, um, that's what it, it appears to be. Beautiful. I love the way the curtain bangs just fall really nicely. As you saw, I didn't do anything to it and it just stays right off my face beautiful uh, lace front let's take a look at that transition typical of Beltrass it's a little thick right there at that transition perhaps because of this dark color it's not as evident as at least it doesn't appear to be and I'm just looking at my viewfinder uh, I'll be able to see it better uh, later on when I'm editing, but it doesn't appear to um, see, be so obvious when, as we find on the lighter colors. I did cinch it in a bit. Great coverage, just like my other Beltress. Here is the ear tab, and as you can see, very little of my hairline, or some of my hairline, which I will use a root powder to match to the wig if I decide to keep it. I'm not feeling any permatees at the top. Very unusual for Beltress, but I am feeling lots of permatees right along the sides, which is probably what's giving it this form right here. With Columbia and, and Delgona, it, the profile is a little uh, um, not as poofy, if you will and lots of permatease at the nape. Lots and lots of permatease at the nape. That is really surprising to me. I think this is my first bell truss that has so much permatease on it. But again, there's no permatease up here. So if the permatease up here is something that bothers you, there is none. If you like it a little bit wider right here at the side, this type of form, that's where the permatease is. It's definitely heavy permatease there. Pretty much a very messy type of look, if you will. 
no defined curls at all, just as I, I thought that they would, there wouldn't be. Well, it is not my favorite uh, from all of my Beltras, if you just want to know my two cents. <laughs> I don't hate it. I really don't. I, I think it's, uh, I think there's a place for it. I could see myself wearing it with a pair of jeans and a, and a comfy shirt type of thing. It's not one that I would use to, I would wear for a fancy dinner. Uh, yeah, I definitely don't hate it, but it's not my favorite. I actually may just keep this one because it's kind of messy. I kind of like what what I wear. As far as the density is concerned, I think we do have a good amount of of hair here, uh, pretty much like the original uh, Peerless. However, because we do this one is 14 inches, it doesn't appear to be or feel to be as much as the longer one, the, I think it was 22 inches, if I'm not mistaken, but maybe it was 18 inches, but I thought that was too much. I also had felt that the um, Dalgona, the longer one, I love the shorter one. I love Dalgona 16, but the Dalgona, 22, I think it was. It was just too much for me. I didn't care for it. Now with this one, I prefer this one to the original, but we do have a good amount of hair here. So who is this for? If you don't mind some permatease around the sides and at the nape, if you don't mind a little bit heavier density, I think you would love this uh, Peerless 14. We have the bang is five to six and a half inches. I think it's beautiful. This curtain type bang. The center part is wide enough so you could wear it a little bit off center if that's something that you would prefer. The sides, we have lots of layers here from six and a half inches to 14 inches. The nape is eight and a half and the back is 11 to 14 inches. I feel that if you like a more um, defined curl, you're better off going with Columbia or with Dalgona and not necessarily with uh, Peerless. And if you prefer a side instead of the center, you could just move it very easily. These heat friendly fibers are very easy to manipulate and they, they do a good job basically staying however you put them. You just won't have a real center part, but I don't think that matters. I, I personally, I like the center part so. and I love the curtain bangs. All right, let's take a walk outside so you can see English toffee out in the sunlight and then I'll come back. Thank you everyone. I appreciate you spending this time with me. Please let me know what you think about Peerless 14. Do you like it? What do you think about the hermites around the side and the nape? I would love to hear from you. And if you have it, do you love it? Or is this like, yeah, not so much. Let me know. I'd love to hear from you. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day and I will see you next time. Bye.